In lesson 8.4, we're going to be adding and subtracting rational expressions. Now, there's some pretty easy ones and some rather difficult ones. Oh, man, those ones are going to be fun. So when we have like denominators, adding and subtracting rational expressions is actually pretty easy. It's kind of the same thing as if you were to have, I would say, 2 over 5 minus 1 over 5. I'm going to just subtract my numerators because my denominators are going to be the same. So I'm going to have something over 5. Well, 2 minus 1 is just 1. That easy. If I had 3 over 7 plus, uh, let's say, 2 over 7, I'm going to get 5 over 7. Like denominators, super easy. So let's try it over here. I'm going to have x squared minus 9 over x minus 3. Woohoo! That was easy. Now, there is something else that you have to do here, or at least you need to check for it. Look at my numerator. Anytime I have an x squared, or if I see a like number, like set of like numbers, you know, something that I can take a GCF out of, I'm going to need to factor. Well, this numerator can be factored. It's a difference of squares. x minus 3 times x plus 3. That's something that you need to know and you need to be quick with. Okay, remember, we've got to be quick with our factoring. If you're not quick with factoring, these are going to take you forever. You're not going to finish the test. There's a lot of factoring here. Well, what do I notice now? Well, boom, those cancel. I'm left with x plus 3, but I do need to say I have a restriction here where x cannot equal positive 3. Because right now, I think, okay, well, I can just do anything, and my answer is x plus 3. But really... I can't have 3 here because if I have a 3, now I have 0 in my denominator. So in the original problem, the original problem, I'm not allowed to plug 3 in because it would make my denominator 0. So when I have my simplified answer right here, when I have my simplified answer, which is x plus 3, I have to say where x does not equal positive 3 because of the original denominator here. Okay? Very, very important. Let's try one more with like denominators, and we'll move on to something a little bit more tricky because I know you're, you know, itching for something more difficult. Well, I have the same denominators, 2x minus 1 and 2x minus 1, so my next part will have 2x minus 1, and then I'm just going to go ahead and add these numerators together. Well, I have 3x and 2x, that gives me 5x, then I have negative 1 and positive 5, that gives me positive 4. Now I need to look. Can I factor in the numerator? Nope, no GCF. It's not an x squared. I'm not going to be looking for difference of squares or anything like that. Can't factor the denominator. Nothing can happen here. I'm not going to be able to cancel anything. Don't think, oh, I could just cancel these x's. I can cancel the 2, reduce the 2 and the 4. No. All right, when you have addition or subtraction, they stay together. Okay, so these two have to stay together. These guys have to stay together. All right, so there's my final answer. And the simplifications really do throw people sometimes, so pay attention to when we're simplifying, when we're not, and what I say as to why we're doing it and why we aren't doing it.